Dark Wave. Break it down. Dark Wave. Make sure to like the video, subscribe and press the bell icon. JavaScript Snake Game In this video I show you how to make this snake game. At the end of the tutorial, you will also find the link to the full code. This is our game. First of all you see welcome screen and it asks you to press enter so the game begin. Let's press enter and our game is started now press any arrow to move your snake. Once you press the arrow our snake follow that direction and moves. The goal is to eat those red things and by doing that your snake gets bigger and bigger and also we get score and it's showing on the right top side of the game. We must be careful to not touch the wall or our snake tail, if we does that we lost the game. Let me show you that. So we touched the wall and we lost the game after that this game over message print out with the number of score. And if we press enter the game will be restart. Without further ado, let's jump into it. And we can play again. This game only works on computer devices not on mobiles. So we have watched how the game works now let's see how I made it step by step. This is our project folder inside it we have two more folder audio where we stored the sounds which we later use on our game. The second folder is JS which inside it is our game script. We have two more file we will talk about each one in a moment. The first file is our index.html. Inside it we have the sample HTML5 structure. We also imported our style.css and at the end we imported our JS script. Inside the boy we have a cavase element with ID of game and we also applied width and height to it. Our next file is style.css. Inside of it we applied a simple background style we also used flex to make everything in center of screen. We also applied shadow and border to our canvas and that's it. Our next and the most important file is game.js which is inside JS folder. Inside it we have the code for all the functionality of the game. First of all we made a const of canvas and selected our game element by ID. And we used 2D cavase context here, so it means our game is a 2D game. After that we have a class for our snake part which is increasing the snake size. After that we have some variables for speed, tile count, tile size, tail length, score and much more. This is all the default values we must apply at the top of the code. After that we have the functions which are too important and each function does a specific job. This function is for starting the game. Which will run once we open the screen let's come down at the bottom of the code and I show you. Here you see we run this function so it means whenever our page is loaded our start game will be run. Let's jump back to our function. So this function run few other functions. The first function it runs clear the canvas screen which we will talk about each in a moment. The second function draw the starting which is that welcome screen text. After that we use an event listener for key press, it means whenever the user press enter or any key it runs this function loading and this is our loading function which will run this draw game function which draw our game. Draw game function this function is used to create game loop to continuously update the screen. First it runs change snake position function. It also check if the game is over or not by using is game over function and if, so if the result is true. It returns. 
After that it runs these functions which actually our game is made of them. First it clear the screen after that it draw the snake it draw the apple, it check for collisions. It also draw the score and set a timeout for our draw game function which updates the screen 7 time per second. The function is game over is for checking if the is over. First we make a viable called game over and set it to false. By using if function we check the veracity if it's equal to zero it means game is not started so this function is used. To check whether game has started. After that we check if the snake hits any wall by using if functions. First we check if it hits the left wall. If it hits the right wall the top wall or the bottom wall. If it hits the game over gets the value of true it means we are lost and game is over. We also use a for loop function to check if the snake crushed to its own body. Inside it we use this function to check whether any part of snake is occupying the same space. And if that's correct we set game over to true and so we break the loop. After that we check if the game over is true we display text game over. Inside this if function first we clear the screen we set the text color to white and text size to 40 pixel. And font type as Verdana. Once we set our font color and size we display game over text and we use. Canvas.client width and canvas.client height to position our text in center. We set the font size to 30 pixel and print the score and score value and position our text in center. After that this section is to play the dead audio once the game is over. So we used new audio inside it we put the location of our audio to import it and store that inside SND variable. Once done we use our audio location which is SND variable and dot play to play that audio. After that use an event listener of key press to run the restart function. It means if the game is over and we press the enter or any key it runs the restart function which the restart function checks if we the game is over it reload the page and that's how the game is restarted. At the end we return the value of game over this will stop execution of draw game method. Draw score function, this function is used to show the score number. Inside this function we first. Set the color to white and also we set the font size to 18 pixel then we print the score and score value. And position our score at right hand corner. Draw starting function is used to draw the starting welcome message. Inside the function we set the color and size of our font then print the starting message and position our text in center. Now we change the color of our text to yellow and set size and font and print this text so the player understand to press the enter key to start the game and position our text in center. After that we have clear screen function which clear the canvas screen. So first we set the color to black. And black color start from 0px left and right to the canvas width and canvas height so it does make our screen fully black. After that we have draw snake function as named it draw our snake. Inside this function first we set the color to green. We use for loop function to loop through our snake parts array. This section of code draw the snake parts using fill rect and inside we use the variables we cleared at the beginning of the code to position and understand where and how to draw our snake. This section of code is used to add parts to snake using push. So it put item at the end of list next to the head after that by using if function it checks to. Remove furthest item from the snake part if we have more than our tail size. Once we draw our snake body, by using this section of code we draw the head so first we set the color to orange and draw the head using fill rect and set the default position variables which we define at the beginning of our code. Change snake position function. This function is used to change our snake position or move our snake. We use the variable x and y velocity to position our snake which comes from another part of the code. Actually by using arrow keys we change the velocity and that value comes here and it changed the position of the snake that way our snake moves. Draw apple function. This function is used to draw the apples or those red boxes which our snake eats and we get score. 
So inside this function first we set the color to red and by using fill rect we put the default position to draw the apple. The check collision function is used to check for collision and change apple positions. It means this function randomly set a position for our apple and each time we eat the apple it's showing on a different location so our snake must move to eat it. This function also increased the size of snake tile once we eat the apple. And also it add and score and play a sound. So inside this function first of all we use a function to check if our snake head touched the apple. So if the apple x is equal to head x and apply y is equal to head y we do this. First we use set a random value to our apple x and y to position our apple in a random place. We add a tail to our snake. And we also add an score. After that just like before we play an audio once we eat an apple, this time we use the base 64 type of audio. If you want to learn more about base 64 with JavaScript let me know in the comment below so I make a different tutorial for it. That's it for our check collision function which was the most important function in this game. After that we use event listener for key down and it runs the key down function. Key down function. This function use arrow keys to change the snake's direction so let's see how it works. At the beginning of the code we set two variables named x velocity and y velocity and initialize them with values 0. In order to enable the use of the arrow key for snake navigation, we create an event listener. Next, we will check if the pressed key matches one of the arrow keys. This will be done in a function called key down which will compare keys and their key code. If the key pressed matches the given key code we change the snake position in a function named change snake position. We also need to check if the snake is moving in the opposite direction of the new, intended direction. This will prevent our snake from reversing, such as when you press the up arrow key when the snake is moving to the bottom. It make looks confusing but it's very easy every key on your keyboard have a different key code. In this case the number 38 is the up arrow on the keyboard. So whenever the up key is pressed which the key code is 38 and once the key is pressed it runs this section of code which I explained. And our snake moves to up we use the same kind of if function with different key codes for our down, left and right arrows to move them on those directions. That's all my friend to make your own snake game. I hope you learned something in this video if you have any question let me know at the comment below. Thanks for watching make sure to like the video, subscribe and press the bell icon.